Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be changing out the nozzle on this FL Sun Q5 3D printer. So I have a number of other videos on this printer. If you want to watch those, I'll put a link below to the playlist. So these are the nozzles I got. They're MK8 nozzles. And if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase these, I'll put a link to them in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So it comes in this metal case here. So this comes with 25 nozzles. These are 0.4 millimeter nozzles. It also comes with this little test tube with clean out needles in them. So these have kind of a spring handle on them and you can use this to help clean out your nozzle. So a reason you might want to replace a nozzle is if you're printing with something like an abrasive filament, it can widen the nozzle and you're not going to get accurate prints anymore. So FL Sun has their own procedure for doing this. I'm going to do a different technique. I do want to point out that you can damage your printer while you're doing this if you're not careful. So FL Sun has you removing some set screws in here and removing the effector. That's not how I like to do it. Now, the risk is if you're cranking on this, you can strip out those set screws. Now, the worst case is if you damage it, you can buy replacement parts for it. It's not the end of the world. But I like to do it this way because I like to heat up the nozzle when I remove it. So the first thing I'm going to do, plug the printer in, I'll turn it on. I'll go into the interface, block some of this glare. I'll go into tool and I'll say home first. Then I'll go to preheat, then we'll change the temp. See if I can hold that down. Okay, actually if we change the thermometer here, we can change that to 10 degrees. So we can up this to normal print temperature. So I currently have it at 202. So I don't use this interface a lot. Usually I heat the bed up, but there's no reason to heat the bed for this. So I'll go back, we're on the main interface, and we can wait for the nozzle to get up to temp. So this is where things are gonna get tricky. We now have the nozzle at 200 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to use a six millimeter socket. I'll put that on an extension, and I have a little breaker bar here. So these are all quarter inch. You could use a ratchet too. I'm going to hold the block with a crescent wrench. So I find right at this angle works well. So I'll open it up and I'll clamp it down at this angle so I can get the socket in there, like so. So I'm gonna widen this out now. So when I get the crescent wrench in, I want to tighten that down on that block. I want it secure. So I'm going to be pushing the breaker bar down low counterclockwise, and I'm also going to be putting force on the crescent wrench because I don't want to twist this whole thing. Okay, so that came loose pretty easily. Now, I don't think it's putting any force on now, so I'll just use the extension here to spin it off. Okay, so you can wait for this to cool or you can take a pair of pliers or something and pop this out of here. It's gonna be hot. If you're on a surface that could melt, you wanna make sure you don't drop it on there. I'm just going to use a knife to pull it out and let it drop on the build plate. So I compared the old and the new nozzle. If they look different, you may need to rethink things. So I'm going to put this in here and I'll thread it in by hand to start. Now I'm not holding it with the wrench because there's no force put on it yet. Okay, I'm feeling a little resistance there. So now I'm going to torque it down with the torque wrench. I couldn't find exact torque values. I found some sites that said two newton meters, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I put the extension with my six millimeter socket on the torque wrench, and this is warm right now from when I took it off. So I'm going to hold this with my crescent wrench. Now I'm going to point this towards the back because I'm tightening now. So as I tighten this, I'm going to put a little pressure on my crescent wrench towards the back. Okay, I'm feeling a little pressure and I'll tighten the torque wrench until it clicks. There we go. So using a torque wrench is a great way to know that you're not over tightening the nozzle. I'll put a link below to a video I did on this torque wrench. I do want to disclose that this torque wrench was sent to me by Goyojo for a different video. So now I'm going to turn the printer off. I'm going to let this cool down. Then I'm going to pull this little clip out. I'll press down, I'll pull the Bowden tube out and I'll reseat it. Finally, I'm going to reset the Z height on this. To do that, make sure you heat up the bed and the nozzle and go through the procedure for setting the Z height. I'll put a link below to a video where I demonstrate that and you can also find it in my FL Sun playlist. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.